In our last video, we looked at how we could use an object and define an object to work with uh, a particular function and to kind of encapsulate all of the things we might need to do with that object. Um, now that we've done that, we can actually see how objects can be useful for reuse. Uh, this one, it's a cool one, but other than, other than copying and pasting, we won't be able to do much with this object. So if we copy and paste, if we want to add some functionality to it, it's going to be kind of complicated, kind of difficult. So we might want to use, put this in a place where we could use it over and over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a new project now. So we're going to go to New, uh, under File, New, we're going to create a new project. And we'll call this, we'll just call it simply car. And we're going to create this car project, and that's going to take a second. So let's come back into this file, our object introduction. And we're going to get all of the code for our car, and we're actually just going to cut it. So you can uh, select all of that code and use Command X or Control X, or you can also use Edit. Uh, I, I guess you can't use Edit to copy and paste here, but you can just use Control X to copy all of that out, and we're going to paste all of that into the car file or the car project that we just created. Now, this right is not how we're going to want to reuse this, but uh, we're going to actually create a function around this to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it car, and I'm going to give it an x, a y, and a direction, and we're going to use this as a constructor to actually create our car. So we have all of our code here and we can actually move it around and manipulate it. We're going to use it all as it is now. So this dot X is equal to X. This dot Y is equal to Y. This dot direction is equal to direction. So now we can just kind of take these next couple of lines and eliminate those. Uh, now we want to turn some of these into functions. So I'm going to use this dot turn left and I'm going to just set that equal to. I'm going to remove some of that code and we're just going to have this whole thing and we're going to change this comma to a semicolon and we can actually select all of this code and then if you're on a Mac you, you can use command and then hit the left bracket or the left curly brace and that will shift all of your code over so that it matches and looks nice and we'll just go ahead and add some white space a couple of blank lines in here and we'll use this do the same thing for turn right turn right is equal to function and we'll get rid of that comma change that to a semicolon and we'll use command bracket just to move that over uh, and format our code a little bit better and then we'll do the same thing for move forward this dot move forward is equal to function and we'll change this to a semicolon select all of our code here command bracket there we go just changing and getting some nice formatting this dot get possession position is equal to a function and we get this and we'll go ahead and just select these two lines and we don't need this last brace because that was actually the one that ended our function but we do need to use it right here so now we have actually made this car a constructor and we have something now that's going to actually work pretty well for all of our, our different uh, code so we're gonna we're gonna actually use multiple files here and multiple projects to create a library that we can actually use so now that we've done all of this let's let's make it a little bit smarter so we have this constructor and when we create a new car we're gonna give it an X Y and a direction but let's say someone doesn't pass in an X or a Y so let's go ahead and we'll say if x this dot x is equal to x and basically what we're saying is if someone passes in a value for x we'll set it equal to this uh, and that way we can start off with a default value this dot x is equal to zero so this way if somebody doesn't specify x we can just assume that this is they're going to it's going to be zero we'll do the same thing for y this dot y is equal to zero if y this dot y is equal to y. So if we think about what's happening here, if someone doesn't specify anything or they pass in, you know, something that's not a number, this is actually going to only set x if they give us something that is useful for x. And then we'll do the same thing for direction. This dot direction, we'll go ahead and assume that up is our default. And if we get a direction, if they give us a direction that's valid, We'll, pass, we'll just set direction. In this way, we can create a car with no parameters and it will give us 0, 0, and up. Now, we should also document our object. So we'll go ahead and create a js.comment here. And we'll say this is going to build a car object at the position x, y pointed in the specified direction. 
And now that we've done that, we'll create, we'll identify the params here. At param number x, the x coordinate. At param number y, the y coordinate. At param string direction, the direction should be up, left, right, or down. And then we'll just use one more annotation here. We'll say at constructor. Now, this actually isn't used uh, in, in app script, but it's just a nice thing for JS doc to identify that this is an object. Uh, we kind of identify that here with our statement, but we'll go ahead and we'll leave it as is. Just so if when they do add that constructor annotation, if they ever do add it, it will actually have, we'll be a one step ahead. So now that we've done this, we can't actually just call car. We can't just say var car is equal to new car. This won't actually work. And if we try to run our function, it's going to say, oh, that's not even a thing. So we need to actually use this as a library. So we can come back to our car and we can actually publish this. Uh, but we're not actually going to publish it using this method. We're going to use file and then we're going to go to manage versions. So under file manage versions, we're going to go ahead and say this is our first attempt at a car object and then we're going to save this and here we see this and we get the date and oh it's all great so we hit OK. Now we can actually go back to this this uh, file our object or introduction file and we can actually use a library so we use library and it's gonna say well add a library we need the project key uh, okay so we can actually do that we go back to car we go to file project properties and we get that project key. We can just select the whole thing, double click it, select it, copy it, save, and we can come back and add this now. And it's going to give us a particular version. So we want version one, and we're gonna use car as our prefix to access this, and we save. Now, if we run this, we're still gonna get that error. We're still gonna get the error saying, so we need to use that prefix. That prefix that we just added uh, under libraries, uh, where it says car, that's actually important. We need to use this as our prefix. So if we had changed this, if we'd named this, you know, something larger like my first car project, uh, it would actually give us a prefix for using it that way as well. So now if we save this and we go back to our spreadsheet, we're gonna get an error. It's gonna say we, can, we don't get a, a property car from undefined. So uh, we actually probably have some kind of issue here. Oh, it's because, so we'll, we'll call this something else, my car. And we'll just go ahead and change our couple of variables here because we can't use car because car is the name of our project. Now if we come back to this and we change it so it's going to say can't find a turn left function. There we go. Just had needed a second to refresh. So you can see this is now using the implementation that I provided here. And because I put it over here and because I have a little bit of a, a little bit of flexibility, I can actually publish this as a library. And I can use this now in my get position and you can see how this is now actually really, 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 really simple. Uh, so this actually is kind of nice because I can reuse my code and it gives me a lot of capability to just be a lot more flexible with how I'm doing things. So this, this hopefully is a pretty good example of how we can use a constructor, how we can convert one of those basic objects that we built as a one-off object into something a little bit more expandable and a little bit more reusable. Uh, we'll get into how we can actually add to this in our next video, but for now, thanks for watching.